All right, Poco X3 Pro users, exciting stuff coming towards you. A lot of you are waiting for the official MIUI 14 update. Now we have a port, a custom ROM, which says that it is stable and it is ported from the Poco X5 Pro. And to be honest, till now, I've not even checked the specs of the X5 Pro, but I think this port might be great because the camera has been fixed and the other things seem to be very, very promising. So before we actually go ahead and use this ROM and review it, I thought I should give you guys an install guide and that is what this is. Install MIUI 14 stable on the Poco X3 Pro. Hello everyone, my name is Kailash, you're watching Phone Ops and today we're going to install just about the best thing that can happen to your Poco X3 Pro. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops, my name is Kailash, let's get going. Let's see what we have on our hands. We have MIUI SR to the rescue once again. They are doing a great job. MIUI 14.0.3.0. Unfortunately, this is Android 12, not exactly Android 13. So maybe a couple of weeks or months later, you will have Android 13. Ported from X5 Pro 5G codename Redwood over here. Based on MIUI China stable. Okay. 14.0.3.0. December security patch. It is decrypted by default, which is a good thing. Fully de-bloated, that means no trash in your ROM. Full system is read-write support. Fixed camera crash, very, very important. A lot of people were not able to use the ROM because the MIUI camera on the earlier ports was crashing. Added Monet icons and Monet theming support. So that's good. And this should be a straightforward flash. You should have a Poco X3 Pro, which has an unlocked bootloader, TWRP installed, copied to your SD card or internal memory, whatever you need to unlock. You need to make sure that your phone is more than 50% battery. Back up all your data because we will be formatting the data and remove your fixed fingerprint, password, pin, face unlock, Google account, MIUI account, whatever it is, and then you should be good to go. I've done everything and I'm still on error OS by the way, so we are good to go. There is just one file that is needed. So let's go to restart here and press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the POCO logo to boot into TWRP. Okay, we should be booting into TWRP any moment and bam, that was quick, really, really quick. A lot of people have been asking me why hasn't your Poco X3 Pro died yet? Well, trust me, my phone did die and this is my second Poco X3 Pro that I got in replacement. It still has some months of warranty left. I do game on it often and uh, yeah, I really hope this one doesn't die. So let's actually go to settings and uh, maybe increase the brightness a little bit here so you can see things better. So we'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data and cache. Don't wipe internal storage. That's where our ROM file is. For me, it is on the SD card, but for you, if you don't have a SD card inserted, you might have to, you know, not wipe the internal storage. Let's go to install and let's select the SD card here and let's select the ROM MIUI SR 14.0.3 stable. So see, it's not me who is saying it's stable. It's the developer or the ROM porter who is saying it's stable. And I really hope it is stable because we're going to install this today. And after that, you know, after the quick preview or something, we will probably use it for a couple of days. I'll try gaming on it. For a few of the people out there whose Poco X3 Pro has still not died, I think you should try this because MIUI ROMs with the latest version are pretty decent. And MIUI 14 on this bad boy for me, that is the Mi 11X, has been doing a pretty splendid job. So I think we should give it a try. Let's wait for the ROM to flash. It'll take 45 seconds to a couple of minutes and then we should be on our way to experience this amazing ROM port. Now, as you can see, the ROM has been flashed. Let's go to the main screen, wipe, format data and type in yes. Remember, everything will be erased, including your music, pictures, memories. So make sure you back them up and reboot system. Now, the first boot on our MIUI ROM does take two to three minutes. We have a trick. You just need to press and hold the power button till the time you see the MI logo or the POCO logo and you should be good to go. So now press and hold the power button and keep it pressed till the time you see the POCO logo. Okay, now see how quickly it boots. All right, so as you can see, we've moved on to the home screen. We've completed the setup. So if you go to about over here, as you can see, you have my device, MIUI SR 14.0.3 stable is what they're saying. Uh, well, yeah, it says check available benefits you are about to use gf 6 plus 2 gb variant over here a complete mii 14 look and feel over here which is a good thing although this is the china version that we are talking about you do have the performance mode toggle over here and it'll be really interesting to see how this particular version of miui performs so if you actually go to wallpaper you do have the miui 14 wallpapers doing a great job over here so that is a good thing 
and uh, let's go to settings again let's go to more and let's see if we have anything in the minus one screen you do have google discover as well which is a good thing right now i did try clicking a few pictures over here using the inbuilt camera and uh, yeah it actually works just fine there are no problems whatsoever so i think they have fixed the camera as well the dialer per se is the miui dialer you do get miui messaging as well even if we talk about the security apk over here i think it's one of the latest ones so let's quickly actually go to the about 7.3.6 yeah and even if we talk about the game turbo over here is the latest one as well so it'll be very interesting to see with all these features and stuff can you actually get the complete miui 14 experience with android 12 I'm really excited to try this. I will definitely game on this and it does look de-bloated and it does look pretty, pretty good. Now that's everything about MIUI 14 on the POCO X3 Pro, how to install it and what the first impressions are. I'm going to use it for a couple of days, give you a gaming review and a complete review. So stay tuned for that. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.